You know what I heard 8,000 times last night when I was cold calling live on video? That takes some, that takes some brass to like cold call live on video. I don't know anybody else in the industry that does that. You know what I heard, you know heard 8,000 times? I'm not interested. What does that mean? What are they interested in? What are they not interested in? Like, what do you expect a client to say when you call them and try to pitch them or try to sell them something? You know what I expect them to say? Whether I call a lead or whether I cold call, I expect for them to give me an objection. I expect for them to say that I'm not interested. I expect for them to put me off. I expect for them to give me a rebuttal, something random that they don't even mean. 95%, when you call a client, 95% of what they say that's off the cuff, they don't mean. It's not real, it's fake. The sooner you realize, the better you will be at leads, at cold calling. I generated, I generated four final expense leads from cold calling over like 30 minutes. Agents are failing, thousands of agents are failing every single day and starving and struggling. It's because we don't know what we're doing and no one's honest with you about what you should do when you call someone. You know what I do when someone says not interested? I act like it never happened. I ignore it. It's not real. They don't mean it. They don't, ha they don't know anything. They don't have enough information to be interested yet. There's nothing going on. I haven't said anything yet. You know what I've said is, hey, my name's Cody. I'm not interested. Like, if that's the responses that we're getting, how do they know they're not interested? When you go buy a car, when you go to the grocery store, when you go to the mall to buy jeans and someone says, hey, can I help you? What are you gonna say? I'm just looking. You don't have enough information. Like, and honestly, you go into the store to buy something You've got genes in your mind. You've got something on your mind that you're planning on purchasing or that you're at least wanting to look at, but you say you're just looking because it's a knee-jerk reaction. It's what we normally do. It's our normal response when people try to sell us something, when people try to pitch us, when we feel like someone's trying to get us to buy something. From now on, Ignore objections, ignore complaints, ignore excuses, ignore rebuttals. Just continue. We get, we, I get agents all the time and say, hey, you know, I'm calling these leads and these people are saying they already own life insurance. That's fantastic. That's awesome. The, I want leads to own life insurance because they already believe in the product. I'm going to get in the home no matter what. I don't care if they own it. Like, leads are, to me, leads are better if they already own the product that I'm pitching because they believe in it. They've been paying for it. I don't have to worry about them dropping it. I don't have to worry about a chargeback. I don't have to worry about losing money. They already believe in it. They already pay for it. They already own it. I think it's freaking brilliant. And the sooner you realize that just because they already own life insurance doesn't mean that they won't see an insurance agent, the sooner that you'll actually have some success with leads. You get excuses. You get rebuttals. You get complaints every single day day, when you make calls, when you door knock, but what will determine, I'm a huge fan of Best Buy, what, what will determine your results and what you get out of your calls and your door knocks is how you respond when they give you an objection. I'm a big believer in, hey, I'm a big believer in, hey, you, you can't, you know, you don't know what they're going to say and you can't control what they're going to say but what you can control is how do you respond to what they say stop believing everything everyone says stop laying over and letting them tell you no and letting them say I'm not interested fight through that like your survival is on the line fight through the mess the madness and make the sale get in the home quit Quit just giving up when people say I'm not interested or they already have insurance or I'm already covered. Like the two most common objections I got last night when I was live cold calling for foul expense. I already have coverage. It's taken care of. I already have life insurance, whatever. It's all the same objection and I'm not interested. I generated leads from cold calling that said they were not interested. I know that's like super shocking, but believe it or not, no matter what they say, you can still overcome it and get what you want. I'm gonna go buy some computers. 
And if when they, when they when they ask me, hey, you know, can I help you, sir? I'll probably say I'm just looking. But dude, I ain't looking. I'm going to buy two computers. Yeah, well, since like last night, I was saying, hey, I'm, this is Cody from Senior Benefits. I'm not interested. The reason we're calling is you may qualify. Like, I just ignore it. Like, hey, you may qualify for something. Did we get this new information to you yet? You know, they're like, well, d dude, I don't know. Well, you know what? Take me off your list. Perfect. We will do that. My job is to make sure that the local field underwriter gives you a call so that he can give you the new information. So should he, I'm assuming it's okay for, for, for a phone call. So should he call you morning, evening? Which is better? What's this about? This is about getting you the new information about the new state approved final expense plans. I know you want it. It's important. A lot of people in the Lebanon area have been all about it. So should we give that? It's just a, it's a, it's a free phone call. It's free information. I know you want it. So I want to make sure that we get it to you. Would you rather morning or at evening? Um, morning. But, but what's this about again? We'll go over it. We'll go over it in the phone call. I'll oh. make sure that you have all the information, everything you need. Like, people are going to continue to give you your bottles, man. If you don't know what to say, if you're not quick on your feet, if you just give up, if you think that they actually aren't interested, agents believe and you believe that people actually aren't interested. They responded to the ad. What? I don't care what lead source you use. If the lead source is honest and ethical, and if they're actually giving you people that actually responded from an ad in some way, whether it was mail, online, phone call, whatever, if that source and vendor is ethical, and you know that they're actually giving you real people that responded, then it's on you if they say, I'm not interested, or already have coverage, and you don't see them. It is your fault as an agent. You gotta be quick, you gotta know what to say, you got, it's got to roll off. You've got to be confident. Like when DJ gave me excuses, if I thought about it for even a freaking second, they're going to re, dude, I told you I'm not interested. And they would hang up. Like if, if, I, if he says, Hey, I'm not interested. And I'm like, well, you know, I just really like to, you know, dude, they're off the phone. You lost it. Role play. Get freaking good at this. It's your life. It's your dream. It's your livelihood, your legacy, your family that's on the line. And if you don't take it seriously and dive in, and become obsessed with winning, you will fail like 92% of other agents that don't know how to handle objections when they occur.